Now we just need to fill out the fields on our game manager to actually handle spawning our players, tracking our holes, and eventually keeping score. So let's select our game manager object here. Uh, we have these three uh, values in our game manager. We're going to ignore scorekeeper for now because we're going to add that uh, next week as part of our week three uh, tasks. So instead, we're going to worry about just filling out these player prefabs and our holes variables. So uh, in the player prefabs, we only have um, the three golf club prefabs. So we're just going to make that a size of three. And then we're going to move in our project panel to that clubs prefabs folder. And then we're going to drag those guys in in this order here. So we're going to go blue club, green club, red club. So now we've got our three player prefabs and that's going to control um, <coughs> obviously our player as they play through the game and then this next bit um, we have only three holes currently so in the holes object of our game manager we're just going to put three and we're going to drag each of our three holes in in order so hole one should go to element zero hole two to element one hole three to element two and so on once we get to nine holes so every time we make a new hole we need to add it to this this game manager and i will remind you of that in each of those those steps uh for creating the holes but we do need to add this uh every time You'll also notice that when you expand the array, not only are you getting a slot for the holes, but you're also getting this par variable down below. So in golf, mini golf or real golf, um, there's this thing called par. Par is the number of hits it should take you to hit your ball into the hole. So if you hit the ball into, into the hole in less than the number of uh, whatever par is, then that means that you've played better than whoever designed the course expected you to. If you hit a, a, a more times than what par is, then that means you played worse than whoever designed the course expected you to. So what we're going to do uh, for each hole that we add is we're going to say how many, how many hits should it take you to get in to the, to the hole. Um, so for hole one, for example, this is a straight shot. Realistically, it should only take you one. So I'm just going to make par one here. Um, here we've got this turn and a couple of different shots. So this could take you three realistically. So I'll say the par of three here. And then this one, it's mostly just kind of hitting down the hill. I think this one might also be a par three. So you can set your par for each hole to whatever you want. Uh, but keep in mind that uh, much like our hole design, uh, your par does kind of equate to the difficulty of your hole. If you have a lower par, then that means your player is kind of forced to try to get a lower score. Uh, if you have a higher par, then that means that they have more strokes to work against or work with. Uh, so keep that in mind as you set par for those holes. Uh, but once you've got your, your three current holes set up here, and we're about to make our fourth hole, as well as your player prefabs, go ahead and save your scene and we can move on to the next step.